Hello everyone, welcome to the video session of compensation management. Today we will go through the topic of total rewards in which we will discuss about the definition of total rewards, elements of total rewards and introducing the total rewards. So let's have a look on the definition of total rewards. A total reward approach links all the aspects of rewards together and treats them as an integrated and coherent whole. Now there are multiple definitions given by different organizations. So let's have a look on the very first definition by World at Work in 2000 states that total rewards are all of the employers available tools that may be used to attract, retain, motivate and satisfy the employees. Whereas the definition given by Manus and Graham in 2003 states that total rewards includes all the types of rewards, whether be it direct, indirect, intrinsic and extrinsic rewards. And the next is given by Cantor and Keon in 2004. Uh, it defines that total rewards as everything an employee gets as a result of working for the company. So these were the multiple definition states that the total reward approach must be treated as an integrated and coherent whole with multiple aspects in it and multiple elements in it. So you can design your total reward package as per your organization. So let's have a look on the elements of total rewards which can be included in your total rewards package. Basically, there are two main elements that is transactional reward and relational rewards. Now transactional rewards are basically the financial rewards. Those are the extrinsic rewards, which includes the base pay, contingent pay and the employee benefits, which will further lead to the total remuneration package. So in total remuneration package, you always have your fixed salary plus the contingent pay, which you get from the uh, level of your performance as well as the employee benefits. And the next is the relational rewards. Now, relational rewards are the rewards which are non-monetary or non-financial. Now, those can be intrinsic as well as extrinsic rewards, which comprises of the work experience. Now, work experience, the ambience, the work environment or the organizational culture is totally intrinsic reward. Recognition. Now, recognition can be monetary and can be non-monetary. So here it is described that it is non-fictional recognition, which can be extrinsic. That means you can get any appreciation, you can get any uh, award, you can get any certificate out of it. The next is performance management. Performance management is always extrinsic, wherein you get performance appraisal. And the last is learning and development. Now, learning and development is primarily and on initial stages, it is extrinsic wherein you, uh, wherein you find the need for the training and development in your own self, which will further leads to the non-financial or intrinsic rewards. So when we integrate the total remuneration with the non-financial rewards, we'll get our total rewards package. Next, we'll look upon introducing the total rewards. Now, this is the process which you will follow while introducing your total reward package in the organization and which all aspects you need to consider while introducing your total rewards. The very first thing is clarification of the concept. You need to understand, you need to analyze and determine the objectives of your business, the business goals, as well as the human resource strategy. The next one is you need to involve your stakeholders. They also must have equal voice in developing the total reward packages. Next is you need to identify the elements of total rewards. Now it is very much important to have the balance between financial as well as non-financial rewards. So equal elements of financial and equal elements of non-financial rewards must be taken while designing and developing your total reward package. The next thing you do is prioritize. You need to prioritize the reward, whether be it financial or non-financial, depending upon the nature of the organization or the activity and operation which an organization is conducting and performing. The next is make a business case. Now, you can introduce, you can revise certain uh, grade and pay structures. You can uh, introduce the concept of cultural values, norms, beliefs. You can have an analysis of your employees' perspectives and attitudes and behaviors towards the total reward approach. You need to introduce the flexible benefits. So uh, you basically need to provide variety of choices in front of the employees so that they can choose 
the rewards according to their nature and attitude and then can perform accordingly so you need to make a business case for your total rewards the next one is plan the development now the concept is very much simple the design the planning is very much simple but it is equally difficult when you need to implement and execute such rewards you need to communicate to your employees you need to make them understand the benefits of total rewards so you need to plan the development you need to plan the procedure how you will introduce the total rewards approach to the employees the next is communicate yes you need to communicate the employees the benefits of the total rewards as well as what all implementation roles do they have to perform while developing the total rewards approach the next is involve the line managers now line managers have a great influence over the employees they can motivate they can guide the employees to perform better while introducing the total rewards as well as they can also have the voice of the employees they can consider the opinions and suggestions of the employees and can take it to the top level management next is implement now when you start implementing and executing the uh, total rewards approach you need to understand that what change needs to be adopted by the employees as well as the managers so the change management role uh, comes here while implementing the total reward you will come to know the changes in the behaviors the changes in the attitude of the employees whether they are taking it positively or negatively and the last is to monitor and evaluate the main thing when you uh, plan when you implement when you execute everything is done perfectly but you need to monitor and evaluate the whole process on regular basis you will identify and you will assess the uh, process and you will come to know that what all improvements you can make or you can do the reclarification of the reward system and you can create another total reward package or you can do some modifications in the present reward package as well so this was all about the uh, defining total rewards as well as introducing the total rewards and the elements of total rewards. Thank you so much.